evening, everybody. So, do you guys regret a lot of stuff? So, and I think the big question is like, you know, there's people always say like, you know, live so that you don't have regrets. Um, and that's really hard to do just in general. Like there, we're always going to have things that we regret, things that we regret doing, things that we regret not doing, things that, um, you know, that we wish hadn't happened or, um, something we wish we would have done or done for someone. It's really, really hard to live a life with no regrets. And especially when you get put in a position where it looks like maybe life's going to be shorter than you originally thought it would be. I would love to say that whenever this journey ends, that I will have very few regrets. And in a lot of ways, like those big things, like I'm really, really proud of the life that I live. I'm very happy with the life that I live, but there are gonna be some things that I regret. Um, like I really don't have a hobby. Like you guys are kind of my hobby and it's more than just a hobby. Like this has turned into like building almost this whole new community of people. Um, and that's incredible. But like when I was a kid, I took piano lessons and I was able to, we, we couldn't afford piano lessons and my school's music teacher offered piano lessons for me if I could like help her out around her house. And so that's what we did, but it was only until she had filled up on all of her slots of people who could actually pay. And eventually the spots filled up and I wasn't able to continue with piano lessons. And I would love to learn how to play piano. I always sang, I've sung since, I, I think we actually have videos of when I was like two or three, uh, singing at like a Christmas mass, singing away in a manger with my sister. Um, and like since then I have sung and I love singing, but I always love the idea of being able to play and sing. And um, and so, so that's one thing that I do regret, that I never pushed or I never found a way back to learning how to play piano. Um, so that's one of my big, one of my bigger regrets. I learned in high school, uh, I did, well, actually it was middle school and through high school, I took Spanish. And then after high school ended, uh, I managed to take one Spanish class in college, but in order to get into those Spanish classes, you essentially had to say you were gonna major in Spanish. And so I never was able to continue and I've lost like years of, of learning Spanish because I never kept up on it. And that's something that I regret. There are some things that I thought looking back that I might have regretted, but the choices that I made led me to meeting Josh, led me to living the life that I have of my kids and, and all of those. And so there are sometimes you can look at things that might've been this huge choice that um, kind of ends up directing the path of your life in a way. And, and one of those things is I had the opportunity to spend a year abroad um, as an exchange student. And I backed out of the year-long program and ended up just doing a short-term program. Had I done the year-long program, I never would have met Josh. And so while there is a small part of me that regrets not taking that leap and um, letting fear, because that's what it was, dictate that choice, I can't feel regret for it because of where it led me. So what are some things that you regret? Big things, small things, and what are some steps you can take to maybe change some of those things? So I would like to, and I was talking with Josh about this whole like piano thing, and he's like, I never knew that. Like, why haven't you mentioned that before? And in all honesty, I hadn't thought about it until just a random moment earlier today. I, I was sitting at my at my desk and I don't know if I had like, like a song stuck in my head or something, but I just started like moving my fingers like I was playing piano and I was like, huh. What about that? Like, that would be a cool thing to try and bring back. It's something that I could spend, you know, maybe a half hour, an hour a day, 
trying to learn and there's so many different um different tools now to help you um so that's something that's might be a step that i can take a small step to look into eventually getting like a keyboard or something along those lines um but yeah so what are some of your regrets that you have and what are some steps you might be able to take to change that that's my question for you today and my challenge so i hope you guys had a wonderful monday for me at least i know some of you are already on your tuesday by the time you watch this and i appreciate you all be kind and i'll see you tomorrow